Leaders Africa's flagship program has three pillars, Lead Self, Lead Marketplace and Lead Africa. The Lead Marketplace Africa focuses on developing the future workforce of Africa and our goal is to ask what does it look like for us to pick up university students, fresh graduates, prepare them in the, for the workplace and so we equip them with the skills, the mindset and networks that they need to successfully transition to the marketplace and enable them to be able to support businesses to grow faster and so have the sort of excellence, the creativity, the servant leadership, the businesses need to be able to grow and grow faster today. So what we do with this transition is to help the students to effectively move from one level, which is from lead self to lead market self. So in lead self, they are discovering themselves, their skills, who they are, their identity. In lead marketplace, now how do they influence the marketplace? So our expectation is that now after they have known who they are, after they have an idea of their identity, they're able to effectively use it in the marketplace. So that's one of the things that they have, they're well equipped to be able to now move to the marketplace and be effective leaders in the marketplace. I'm glad to be in Lapid Leaders Africa as it has given me a platform where I can interact with mentors who can direct me on how I should grow uh, say, inter entrepreneurially, uh, interpersonally. This transition has been an eye-opener to me. And uh, were it not for lead self, I don't think if I could have managed to reach at this point with lead marketplace. So uh, this transition has been a, t a learning experience where uh, it's so, most of the practical work, where you have to do it for you to survive, and to me that has shown me how uh, the current world is and that we always need a team, a team for you to, serve, to navigate this marketplace world. My expectation for this transition period is to finally see all the lessons I have learned, all the practice I have had finally coming into one final presentation, if I can say so, just to see all the efforts that I have made come into fruition. The transition ceremony, I'm glad about it. I've been waiting for it. I've worked for the same. The classes have been quite rigorous. Uh, the sessions were fixed and uh, we had to work through, fix our schedules so that we meet the deadlines on deliverables and attendance. So you have to strike a balance between your own activities and joining the session so that you meet the requirements of the program. Most of them came when they were still, if I could say, relatively younger than the other cohorts that, that we've had. And then also just looking at the new generation. So the way they look at things is, is a bit different from uh, other generations, which is a, a good thing. It's, it's also a unique thing and it helps us to learn along the way. But really just seeing the expectations that I'm coming to get solutions, you know, microwave, I'm coming, get the solution, I move forward. But I mean, it's, it's, it's a process. So that's one of the key things, to help them to learn the process. My squad experience was honestly amazing because my fear with meeting new people was how long would it take for us to actually gel together and work well. But it was quite amazing with very many different personalities, but people who wanted to be better, to improve themselves, and so that made us work well as a team. Some of the challenges I faced were especially with time management, because at some point um, I was working a job and volunteering elsewhere, and I still had to make sure my lapid classes and assignments were done, and it got a bit hard. Um, so I was able to reach out to some of my uh, squad mates. I got an accountability partner and it really helped me knowing that someone is always helping me or on my case if they need to be so that I make sure that I do my best in the pillar. One thing I've come to learn about entrepreneurship is that it's not about what other people are doing. Identify a niche you can thrive. What are my goals? What are my strengths? Especially what are my strengths? What are my gifts? Hmm? What I've learned about entrepreneurship is that even my gifts can serve me. I can work on my, go on my gifts, uh, my talents, and make a living out of it. Entrepreneurship is a process. And uh, when you start, you have to plan yourself. Planning is very key in the entrepreneurial process so that you meet your objectives. It also involves setting of objectives and even short-term goals so that they guide you towards your long-term goal. 
So the three big outcomes for the lead marketplace pillar around one, we support the, our youth and young leaders to develop their personal brand. And so we take them through a process that helps them to clarify who they are, their strengths, their weaknesses, and the value that they bring to the world. The second thing that we do is we do some extensive career coaching, and that involves supporting the youth and the students that we work with um, to work on their CVs, to work on their interview skills, to work on their LinkedIn, and ultimately that culminates in a mock interview with HR professionals that we've partnered with. I can say I have grown in a lot of ways. Um, I thought in this pillar I would mostly grow in my technical skills like CV writing and interviews, but I really expanded my mindset, my thinking, and not just to um, my own industry, but thinking beyond. I have grown in many aspects. Firstly, the way I think, my mind, how I've positioned my mind to think. I've learned to think growth, think that anything is possible through practice and do away with the mindset that is fixed, that is not, that is turgid and doesn't take any other input from any other person. I learned how one can start a business and it's not about starting big. You start small with what you have and you measure success depending on what you have as your goals, not what other people or the society says you're supposed to have gotten at a certain time. So one of the challenges that we find a lot of corporates and SMEs in Kenya face significantly is around access to talent. And we get a lot of requests, especially from SMEs, um, of how much time that they're spending to recruit talent and how much money it spends for them to get high quality talent. Hindsight is always 2020. okay? So when you go for an eye test, if your eyesight is sharp, you're told you have 2020 eyesight, okay? When you look back to when you started and to who you have become now and what you're able to do now, then you realize that you made a good decision to join, right? Same thing with mistakes. You make a mistake, probably you don't realize the mistake you're making when you're making it. And then later, you look back and you're like, if only I took those five minutes to do that thing that needed to be done at the right time, at the right place, I would not have missed that opportunity. So I find that one thing that's common among all young people is they're ambitious. And so if you're an young, ambitious young person who is looking to succeed, who is looking to become uh, financially successful, identify yourself as a person who is doing great things, then Lapid is for you.